Hello everyone, Dolphin Oracle here introducing MX21, available with install media featuring the XFCE, Fluxbox, and KDE Plasma desktops, all based on Debian 11 and utilizing the Annex Live system and the famous MX Linux toolset. Currently shown is our flagship XFCE desktop, and let's jump into one of our MX tools, MX Package Installer. The popular Apps tab pulls from several repos, and from also from non-repo sources, to provide popular open source and also popular proprietary applications. Google Chrome, OBS Studio, Vivaldi, a variety of office suites are all available at the touch of a checkbox. Also available in the tab interface is access to the stable, MX test, and Debian pack ports repositories, and also easy access to flat packs that are provided by FlatHub. The About dialog will tell you the essential vitals of the system you're running, and a click on the Quick System Info button will generate a full system report, mostly provided by INXI and pre-copied into the system clipboard with the appropriate code tags already in the message for pasting into an MX forum post. Don't like the vertical panel of our default XFCE desktop? Launch MX Tweak and make the panel horizontal on the panel tab. A backup of your panel will be made if none already exists, and you can always reset the panel to the default panel configuration as well. Panel plug-in items are rearranged for a traditional horizontal experience. Tired of chasing around several different setting apps just to make change your theme in XFCE? Try the new theme module in MX Tweak with GTK, Window Manager, and Icon themes settings all in one window. Preset theme sets are also available, and you can save your own combinations in new theme sets as well and apply as you see fit. The famous MX toolset gives users the power to do many administration and configuration tasks in a GUI format rather than at the command line. When running a live USB, the live admin tools are also here as well. The sets vary between desktop version, but most are common to all versions. One example is MX user an easy tool for user management. Creating and deleting users is easy, and so is adding and removing them from user groups. New for the MX21 series is the new MX Fluxbox release, featuring the Fluxbox window manager and a host of Fluxbox specific tools to help users try out the window manager lifestyle. The Fluxbox release features a smaller default application set by default. A new settings manager is available to consolidate configuration tasks into one place. One of the Fluxbox specific tools is DocMaker, which helps users configure the launch bar that floats above the desktop. And if you need to get deeper than the GUI tools allow, then jump right into the various configuration files straight from the Fluxbox menu. Returning for the 21 series is MXKDE release, featuring the Plasma desktop. Plasma is amazingly configurable. All the usual Plasma configuration apps are available, and MX Tweak has a few options just to get things started. Also new is the MX Tour app, accessible from the welcome screen and from the menu, and gives new, new users an overview of the different parts of the different MX Linux desktops. Job Scheduler is an example of a relatively new MX application that allows users to create schedule tasks using Cron, the classic Linux desktop schedule daemon. And don't forget, help is always just an Alt plus F1 away in all desktops with the famous MX Linux manual. And all desktops feature F4 to access a drop down terminal. And of course, all hotkeys are configurable. The KDE Plasma release features a more KQT centric application set, but there's a lot of crossover with the different with the XSC and Fluxbox releases because MX itself is just a little bit agnostic when it comes to Qt and GTK. One of the new things for the 21 series is our new theme set and it's unified across all releases. We call it MX Comfort and it was designed by one of our own dev team members. MX Comfort and its dark variants are available across all three desktops. The Comfort color schemes are meant to be easier on the eye but still be just a little bit modern. And we haven't forgot our live USB users. With UEFI becoming dominant, it's time to overhaul the live U 
boot menus on the UFI side, and they bring an experience more similar to the legacy F key menus to set things like keyboard and language and persistence options before you ever even boot. The installers received a lot of updates, including a new partition management section. Check out our other videos on some of the capabilities of the new installer here. And last, but by no means least, a snapshot, the main feature for transforming your installed system or custom live USB into a new ISO image featuring the Antics Live system. There's new compression options available, including ZSTD. The MX-21 series is finally out. Thanks to all our supporters, and we hope you enjoy this release. This is Dolphin Oracle signing off. Have a great night.